I study computer science at the University of Oxford, and today I thought I'd share with you a typical day in my life. Computer science is often regarded as one of the more rigorous courses in Oxford, meaning that I try to get up early in order to maximize the number of hours I have to study. I set my alarm for 7.30am to try and get a nice, fresh start for the day. I also set a few other alarms in case I oversleep, which tends to happen and can often be by quite a significant amount. I do normally, however, successfully wake up at 7.30, where I then proceed to do one of my most important morning rituals, consuming caffeine. I like to take a conservative approach to the amount of instant coffee powder I use, just enough to kind of get me through the day, really. At Oxford, we're all about efficiency and multitasking, meaning that whilst I sip my coffee, I'd like to take the time to also pray to the computer science gods before I start my day. I then tend to take my first nap of the day around this time, but instead of being woken up by an alarm, I let the caffeine eventually take its effect to get me out of bed. After having an inspiring breakfast, brushing, and showering, I then set off to the library. So guys, I'm currently headed to Trinity College, which is the college I go to. And I'm going to be studying in the library inside the college, which is a pretty nice library. So hopefully I'll actually get some work done. Last year, I actually lived in on-site accommodation inside the college. So the library was right next to me. But now I live in off-site accommodation in North Oxford. So I'm going to walk about like 25 minutes to get to college, which is not bad at all. But thinking about how nice it was last year still makes me cry inside. It's currently exam season. So today I'm going to be revising databases. In particular, I'm going to be going over database indexes, such as B plus tree indexes, hash indexes, that kind of thing. Looks pretty nice outside today as well, so the walk should be quite good. But yeah, let's get going. For some periods of time, the work can go quite well in the library, and for some periods of time, the work can go quite badly, or in some cases, just non-existent. When I'm bored of studying, I often take a break to consume even more caffeine. There's a really nice coffee shop called The Missing Bean, which serves some pretty banging cappuccinos. If I want to procrastinate even more, I also often go for a walk in a park in central Oxford called Uni Parks. It actually has a great walking path and in the summer looks pretty nice and going for a walk that really helps take your mind off your work and allow yourself to recuperate before eventually getting back to the grind. I continue studying until about 5, at which point I then hit the college gym in hopes that one day I will actually have muscle mass. I follow a push-pull legs routine at the moment and technically should be going 6 times a week, but at the moment I aim for about every other day, uh, but often don't even do that. After the gym, I then have a vibey walk back to my flat and make some dinner. I then proceed to do the post-dinner work grind. So guys, in the library today, I managed to get through database indices as I talked about earlier. Now I need to go through how, given an SQL query, you would decide what indices you'd actually want to use to be able to process the query in the quickest way. I actually did like a bit of this stuff in the library, but I got really confused on it. So I'm gonna be going through it again now and hopefully I get it, or maybe I won't. But yeah, let's get to it. Um, I will see how much work I can do before basically I'm too tired to do any more. After finishing around 11, I kind of laze around on my phone for a bit of time. Before eventually managing to get to sleep, 
and then repeat. Obviously the day wasn't that eventful, but that is honestly what kind of happens in a typical day in my life at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And as always, if you have any questions or just want to leave some comment, I will reply to every single comment because at the moment I don't have any views, so it's not really that big an issue. And I will see you guys in the next video. We're coming to this college.